Uh, you know the old saying stuck between a rock and a hard place we've all been there right uh, Lauren don't forget to pick those cables up damn it so I'm looking at okay so special ops basically in single player or co-op game mode in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Co-op, two person, fun. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So I have all of those games for my Xbox. I do not want a gold account. Last time I got a gold account, with a brand new box, I signed up for their special, uh, you know, game setup. I got a, a game pass, and they took my year subscription away. So when I stopped my game pass within a week, my gold account didn't come back. They fucked me. So it's like, why would I, you know, in order for me to play co-op with these, I have to put them both online. And I'm sorry, there's just not enough people playing here co-op like that for me to do that anymore. So they lose me as a customer no matter what. Doesn't make any sense. Because none of these are available at any reasonable price for the PS4. And most of them will, or will only play on the PS3. They won't play on the PS4. Uh, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Gaming. You know, to talk about the good old days, I remember, I remember the first patch. That's what it was called, a patch. Seems simple, innocuous, just a patch for a glitch. People were hiding in walls. Just a patch. And the next fucking thing you know, here we are with loot boxes, okay? The pendulum went from here all the way through and up and out the ceiling on the other side. I met my nightly medical uh, presentation. Okay, baby. Thank you, honey. I'm going down. All right. I love you. Love you, baby. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Okay. I really tried. I thought I could do something. I really did. I thought. You know, it's so common sense. It is so common sense and so logical that as consumers, we tell them what we want, not the other fucking way around. Like all, all other hobbies and shit, you know, the players basically say, well, you know, we want a bigger head on our golf club to make the ball easier to hit. Boom, heads are bigger on golf clubs. We say we want to do system links so we can play without you guys. And they're like, ah, oh, fuck you. They buy up every little single independent artist on the planet so they can monopolize gaming. And they've done a damn good job at it. Come on, you got to admit, they've just fucking been brilliant. Brilliant. Got to give them an A+. Plus. They knew that this technology wouldn't be understood. They knew that if they self-monitored, they could get away with murder. 
and they understood quite clearly that the government didn't give a fuck because they didn't understand the amount of money that was passing hands in the gaming industry. They thought it was just some obscure little quarters in a fucking arcade thing. That's what they thought. Just like IBM when Bill told them uh, that they had to put their software on their machine and IBM said, well, f who gives a shit about software? Software is nothing. It's the hardware that counts. <laughs> Little did they know, right? <laughs> Little did they know. Let alone with Apple, there was like 20 companies. I mean, we had one called Rhino com Computers right across the street from us in Walnut Creek. <laughs> they popped up everywhere. Little did they know that hardware was nothing. It was all about software. Ah, I'm going to ban that number. You know, you put a game in and it played and that was it. And you got what was on the disc. And if it was, uh, if, if the game took five discs to load, then we loaded five discs. Simple as that. And that's how every game should be. They've suckered into the, us into this whole fucking memory hard drive thing too. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if they focused on better equipment, better gear, we could download those discs probably damn near as fast as you can get some of these games to load as it is. And you could keep it on there as long as you wanted and delete it just like you do today. But you own the game on the disc and when the fucking servers go down and they decide they want you to buy the newest model of the newest game they got coming out, and they're sick and tired of you playing Gran Turismo 5, they just shut off the servers. Because that's exactly what happened. There was a 75% decline in Europe on Gran Turismo 6. Nobody fucking wanted it. But they'd made us wait too long. We already had to buy Prologue, okay? No one fucking wanted it. So they turned the servers off for five and said, no, you're gonna buy six. See, we should have been able to stop that. We could have. It, was, it wasn't hard. I wasn't asking everybody to do any kind of fucking miracles or anything. I just said, I need the voices behind me to back me up and I will go chain myself to the fucking Capitol building and I will continue to do that until the, the court understands why we're there, at least. And the media then will want to know what all the noise is about. Why? Because they're fucking bored. And when you say, parents, I need to tell you something that Microsoft is never going to tell you, okay? Your child, your 14-year-old that's playing Call of Duty is not supposed to be playing Call of Duty. That is a 17 and up game for a reason. That's the gaming industry's own recommendation for the game. But it's only to keep the government off their ass. They know your 14-year-old is playing. As a matter of fact, they encourage it. But there's more money in all than all, take all of music and all of movies, and you put that both of those industries together, they are still smaller than the gaming industry. That's what's involved here. This is how much money's here. This is the dedicated, you know, focus that they have on your children. This isn't about people like me, adults that know what the fuck they're doing, okay? This whole gambling and all this other shit that they inspire with loot chests, it's, um, we let them do that because we let the fox watch the hen house. And then what I found out, the sad, sad fucking truth was that was the real problem was actually the problem. The fact that 13-year-olds and 14-year-olds didn't care what I was saying. 
They didn't think about being 17, 18, 19 all of a sudden today and going, fuck, I should have listened to that guy. It's just going to get worse. The way everything is written now, at, you know, just at their whim, they could just discontinue your account and make your box non-functioning. There's no, there's nothing else like that except for maybe the Department of Defense, okay, has that kind of power over the equipment that you paid for in your house. It's so out of hand. You see, it was just a patch. That's all it was. Just a patch. So fucking innocent. And it was so awesome. We're like, oh, cool. Cool. So they can now fix the game? Well, they didn't they didn't fix it on the disk. They actually altered the software in your machine. And now your next end user license agreement has a new agreement in there saying that you won't try to cheat in the game, da 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 da. And now we have this where they're recording your fucking conversations when you're playing. We let them do this shit. Okay, it should be fuck you. You develop a game, you develop a console, we put the discs in and we can play them. We don't need you. If I have internet and my friend has internet, we can hook our boxes together. Fuck you and your PlayStation network. We should be able to network without you, okay? What Name another hobby or a sport where the people that make the equipment fucking stand over you and tell you what you can and cannot do with your fucking baseball bat or your, or your golf clubs, or your race car tires, or your blender, or any other fucking thing on the planet. Well, you can't name one, other than Department of Defense, okay? Software has captured us. We're fucking prisoners of these end-user license agreements that no one wants to read or understand. They knew that and they said, well, we can get away with the murder. We can write that you have to give your grandma to us when you die. And they'd still agree to it. No one's ever going to look. It's too late now. No one gave a shit. The problem was is all of the victims I was trying to save were, were 13, 14, 15. Actually, they're now like 21, 22, 23. And I've had people come to my page and say, everything you said came true, dude. I know, I know that. I know that. I don't take any glee in that at all, okay? It all came true. Of course it did. It was simple. The writing was on the wall. And now, I don't know. If it, I think it's too late. Or I do. I think unless you have this generation move into a legislative, you know, part of government and then move up, you know, into, a, you know, governor, senators. You know, maybe we could get somebody to look at gaming. But as it is right now, it's going to be the ESRB uh, not saying shit about underage kids playing Call of Duty. When they're playing and they're shooting monsters, that's different. It's a fantasy uh, thing, okay? But when you're shooting a human analog or you're actually fighting another human being online trying to kill him before he kills you, that's an adult game. That is definitely an adult game and you don't want your 11-year-old fucking playing that game, I'm telling you, okay? I know kids who've had night terrors and all kinds of shit from playing too early. That's an adult game. That's why it's 17 plus. So they don't even want to protect us. It's all about the fucking money. It is truly about the money. You know what I mean? I'm surprised they, they, they haven't had 25 people come and do pages about Mr. Dangerous Ideas like they did Larry Von Buren. They don't like it when I talk about that. And why they had to have start having monitors online, monitoring conversations. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was bad for a while. 
No. See, we should be able to put a game and a console we own that we can do whatever the fuck we want with. We can go online who, with whoever we want with. If they own one, then we can play with them. We don't need their network. That's where this that's where the tie needs to be severed, okay? Period. Anyone has a PlayStation, I can play with them if they have a PlayStation. We don't fucking need Sony, who made the box, controlling everything about it, including the games, everything, okay? We don't need that. There has to be some way to inspire them to make better and more games. And the way to fucking do that is to give us control back by ownership of the console and the games. Every game that has a online component, you have to be able to have an offline component too. LAN system link, absolutely mandatory with every game or it just simply doesn't get published. Be able to play with any other console, computer, Xbox, whatever. They're all PCs, okay? The fact that they make them singular, okay, is just, you know, proprietary bullshit. But it, it, I think it's just it's just too late, you know what I mean? We're gonna, it's going to be another generation now before this next group might have a possibility to get high enough up in office where they start going... You know, there's a trillion dollars here you guys aren't even paying attention to. Yeah. So, I'm fucked. If I want to play these co-op games with my friends, then I have to keep my Xbox, which I absolutely just despise right now. I despise Microsoft right now. I hate those fuckers, man. I really do, you know? I wish I had a bot that could create like a million accounts an hour and just set it loose on those guys and go, here, you want some accounts? Here. <laughs> here. <laughs> here you go. Ah. So now I'm going to go play Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I haven't visited this game in six or seven months. I just thought the menus and the way they set the game up was just a pain in the fucking ass. <laughs> 